this video has been a long time waited. I wanted to post a week after the first video I did, the first movie review. But obviously I didn't to plan. But it doesn't matter, because we're here now, okay? And today, I'm going to be talking about Frank and... Ow! Pinched myself. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about Frank and Hooker. This movie is weird. It's on the spectrum of weird, okay? It's kind of like the creators was tripping on DMT. Kind of weird, you know, get this idea like, oh. <laughs> Give me a pencil! Give me a pencil! I got this! I need a rat! Yeah, it's kind of like that. But, um, I like it. Obviously, I'm not so normal myself. But, I think it's a good watch. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if any of these people watching this video have not seen this movie. I wouldn't. Um, but for that reason, I'm gonna do a little movie run through. If that's okay with you! My mom's gonna think I'm crazy. Okay. Anyways, let's just fucking get started. Okay. It begins at a birthday party, and we see our first character, Jeffrey Franken. His last name's Franken. Isn't that cool? Um, that is making the weirdest birthday cake I've ever seen. I'm just kidding. Um, this brain is his creation. He is a crazy doctor sort of fella. And our main character that would soon be Frankenhooker after she gets chopped up by a remote controlled lawnmower that was meant as a birthday present to her dad. You want it to go, you just press this. You're on your way, Chuck. Don't stand in front of it. We see him stretching out a paper of a body with a picture of Elizabeth on his head. Yeah. We can make a pretty good guess here what he's trying to do. He takes a break and watches the news video of the incident and the reporter constantly refers to Elizabeth as a human salad. Then in the video, the reporter tries to interview Jeffrey and ask if he knows anything about Elizabeth's missing head. Jeffrey's mother walks in and comments on the fact that he needs to stop rewatching that video. They have a talk about moving on and her motherly worries and Jeffrey opens up and expresses his intense emotions that he's been feeling while his mom proposes a solution to help. Something's happening to me that I just don't understand. I can't think straight anymore. Like my reasoning is all uh, twisted and distorted, you know? I seem to be disassociating myself from reality more and more each day. I'm antisocial. I'm becoming dangerously amoral. I've lost the ability to distinguish between right from wrong, good from bad. I'm scared, Ma. I mean, I feel like sometimes I'm, I'm plunging headfirst into some kind of black void of sheer, utter madness or something. Do you want a sandwich? After she leaves, Jeffrey takes Elizabeth's missing head out of a purple goo bath to have dinner with her to show her all the different bodies he can give her. He eats, reads her a poem, and puts her back. Jeffrey goes back to the brainstorming, then turns on the TV and just at the perfect time to see that a huge storm will come in two days. So before that happens, he needs to find out how and where to collect the body parts he needs to bring Elizabeth back. So to think of how, he performs a sort of lobotomy on himself, and after, he thinks of an idea to buy a bunch of hookers and pick out the perfect legs, arms, hands, breast, you get the idea. He goes out on the streets and talks to the big man, Zorro, that supposedly owns most, if not all, the prostitutes 
and the ones he owns have a branding of the letter Z on their arm. They talk business and Zoro agrees to provide a number of prostitutes. Jeffrey goes home to create a super crack that will kill the hookers he wants. Then he tests it on, he tests, he tests, he tests, he tests, sounds wrong. He tests, he tests the crack on a guinea pig. Now take a nice deep breath. Now it's decision day. Jeffrey inspects the hookers to make his choice. But before he can, they find the lethal crack and well, they all explode. Not wasting any time, Jeffrey collects the body parts and drives back home. The storm is coming quick, so he assembles Elizabeth as fast as he can. If this isn't love, I don't know what is. The time has arrived. Elizabeth is once again alive, but she's not exactly herself. Elizabeth. Want a date? Going out? Looking for some action? Jeffrey. Got any money? Money? No, I don't, I don't have any money. While on the street, she picks up a guy and brings him to a hotel. While getting down and dirty, smoke starts to come out of her body. The super crack. And the man explodes. Ah, oh, that was wonderful. Elizabeth ends up walking into Zorro's club and finds a different guy that is very interested in her. He raises her up and the super crack starts to come out again and he explodes as well. Zorro sees this and hears Frankenhooker mention Jeffrey. So, I mean, he's starting to get suspicious. Well, I mean, he knows, right? But anyways, Jeffrey finds Elizabeth and brings her back to his laboratory thing. She remembers who she was and Jeffrey tells her she was gone. She was dead, but he brought her back. Zorro walks in and finds out what's been going on. He kills Jeffrey and then is attacked like completely mauled by his gal friends and gets killed he disappears i don't know he just goes away into like that purple ghoul or whatever and um elizabeth brings jeffrey back the same way he did but a little different so naturally i had to make some changes no where's my johnson what did you do to me elizabeth um. oh. ah, ah. Well, that's the end of the movie. They probably did live happily ever after. I think this is a beautiful love story. I'm just playing. Um, no, it's silly. It's fun. I like it. Watch it. Whatever. This is the end. Like the video. Um, comment. Whatever. Subscribe, whatever. I don't care. I gotta go to a party. I'll see you guys hopefully next week. The next video is gonna be a short film. A scary one. Of course. What am I, what, do I, what am I gonna do? What else am I gonna do? I'll see you till then, okay? I'll see you when- Bye! I'm done. Leave me alone. Get out of here.